Good morning. Today, our goal is to investigate the frequencies the string vibrates at. And we're going to focus at first only on that string that's circled in the diagram. And so in order to investigate frequency, we're going to use software that will allow us to do that. Along the x-axis, frequency will be plotted. So let's play the video and see the frequencies that that string generates. So from the previous video, I've grabbed this still frame and we're going to talk about this right now. String vibrations produce multiple frequencies at the same time. This first spike in the graph is called the first harmonic frequency. It's just below 400 hertz. Second spike in the graph is called the second harmonic frequency. Notice its height is much lower than the first harmonic frequency. That means it's not as powerful in terms of the sound that frequency produces. The third spike is called the third harmonic frequency. Again, it's not as tall as the first harmonic frequency, and so it's not as powerful. And we have the fourth harmonic frequency. Now there's a mathematical connection between the harmonics. So we'll give them the following names, F1, F2, F3, and F4 for first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, and fourth harmonic. And notice, notice that for the second harmonic frequency, it's exactly two times the first harmonic frequency. The third harmonic frequency is exactly three times the first harmonic frequency. And the fourth harmonic frequency is exactly four times the first harmonic frequency. This is amazing. It's amazing that nature behaves in a mathematical manner. So you should be amazed by this graph. Because it's telling us that math can be used to model nature. So the question is, to produce these harmonics, how does the string vibrate? So to show you how the string vibrates, I'm going to use this simulation. However, you can search YouTube and actually see people who have recorded string vibrations using super slow motion video capture. So here we have a guitar, and I'm using that to represent any stringed instrument. This diagram here represents a single string from this guitar. This end of the string would be here, and this end of the string would be here. So, the string vibrates in this manner. This is called the first harmonic frequency. In addition, the string also vibrates in this manner at the exact same time. This is called the second harmonic frequency. This would be called the third harmonic frequency. And this is called the fourth harmonic frequency. And so, amazingly, a single string will do all of these vibrations at the same time. Let's see what that looks like. So when I turn on all four harmonics at the same time, if they had equal power, then the string would vibrate in this manner. The four light gray images are trying to show the four individual harmonics vibrating at the same time. However, when you combine those four harmonics, you would get this overall vibration in the string.
and to remind you that those vibrations are taking place in a single string. And so this particular vibration in the string will produce the first harmonic frequency. This particular vibration in the string will produce the second harmonic frequency, which is at around 780 or 790 hertz. This vibration in the string will produce the third harmonic frequency. And this vibration in the string will produce the fourth harmonic frequency. These vibrations in the string are called standing waves. And as a reminder, in this situation, for these three different patterns that are occurring, they're happening at the exact same time within the string. Now there is also a mathematical relationship in these string vibrations, in these standing waves. If that distance represents the length of the string, then for the first harmonic, F1, the length of the string is exactly equal to half a wavelength. This symbol here is the Greek letter lambda, and it stands for wavelength. For the second harmonic, F2, the length is exactly one wavelength. For the third harmonic, F3, the length is exactly 1.5 wavelengths. And you can see a pattern here. As the frequency increases, the harmonic frequency that is, the number of wavelengths also increases. So what about the three other strings? Do they behave the same way? Do they produce harmonics when they vibrate? The answer is yes. Let's play the video and see. Please note that as the pitch gets higher, the harmonics shift to the right. In other words, the frequency increases. In conclusion, every stringed instrument behaves the same way and has harmonics. So it doesn't matter if it's a ukulele, or a bass guitar, or an electric guitar, or a harp. Every stringed instrument can be modeled with the use of harmonics and every stringed instrument, those strings vibrate the same way. Hope you enjoyed today's activity. Have a great day. Bye-bye.